Hey guys, George at Soundtracks. This week we're going to talk about starting and stopping the diesel engine sounds on our Blue Nami decoders with our diesel sounds. So let's go ahead and get started. Now when you get your Blue Nami or your Tsunami 2, they default out of the package with the auto start enabled. That means that the decoder automatically starts up as soon as track power is applied. Now in our app, as we've talked about, you can actually go through and make all your settings. So we're going to go in here into sound settings, and this is actually going to be considered an other setting. So engine auto start enable, right now it shows enabled. We're going to go ahead and disable it, and as you can see, the locomotive stays quiet when I set it back down on the track. So now the question is going to become, how do I start up my locomotive when I've disabled the auto start? Well, there's actually two different ways. Number one is you can actually send a non-zero motor command, which means you kind of goose the throttle. And you'll hear that the locomotive starts up. Now, in this particular instance, I have interlock enabled, which means the decoder won't run until the diesel engine is running, which means I can give it a motor command and you don't see it start running until the diesel engines are up, running, and idle. And then once it settles up the second prime mover now, now you can see it's done through the startup sequence, so it starts moving. So now we're going to turn it off. Now the other way would be you can actually use the functions. So when we pull out the throttle menu here on the side, you can see that we have the RPM plus and the RPM minus. Now when your locomotive is sitting still and the locomotive diesel engine is off, well in order to start it you want to hit the RPM plus and that's going to take the RPM from off to idle. So we're going to go ahead and push this button and you can hear the locomotive start up. This way you can let the locomotive start up before you start trying to play with the throttle and run it, which would be more prototypical since the engineer has to be somewhere in the middle of the cabin to start up the diesel engine. So now we have our second prime mover for our E unit. We hear the compressor cycle on. Now we can go ahead and start moving our locomotive. And then we can just turn off RPM plus, and what that's gonna do is that's going to allow us to increase the diesel engine RPM, just like we do with the Tsunami 2s. Now, to shut the locomotive down, we're gonna do the same thing. So we're sitting at idle right now, so what we wanna do is we wanna hit the RPM minus. While the locomotive is stopped, and you're going to hear it go through the shutdown sequence. So that's how you start and stop the diesel engine RPMs and the diesel engine sounds itself using the app. Now with our Tsunami 2 and if you were using the Blue Nami on your normal DCC system, the RPM plus and the RPM minus default to function 5 and 6 on the aftermarket decoders. Now Athern on their decoders that are factory installed with the Tsunami 2 have those defaulted to functions 26 and 27 respectively. So be sure to check out the user's guide for more detailed information and also check out the information card that comes with your decoders. Mm -hmm.